Uh, it's the end of another series of Bugglebots. Great to kick back and relax afterwards and think about the amazing fights we've seen. Uh oh. Yeah? It's still the grand final. It's the grand final. It is! Welcome to Bugglebots! My robot's K2. Robot's called Splatty. But my robot is Solid. My robot is Thunder Child. My robot is Mini Spinny Mark. My robot is Dodo. I'm here with Thunder Child and Sore Loser. Nate, how are you feeling about being in the grand final in your first UK competition? It feels pretty good, not gonna lie. You're up against Sore Loser, which is pretty nasty. Are you worried about this one at all? Uh, yeah, I'm ex I've, none of my bots have ever hit the ceiling of the arena, so I'm thinking this might be the first time. Are you hoping it'll be the first time or? <laughs> Not really. I'd much prefer to see this guy just like on his back the whole time and make some nice dents in the arena. Well, good luck, Nate. Sore loser, Alex. You were gyroing quite a lot in the last fight. Can you tell us why it does that? Uh, yeah, so um, it's just when, when the weapon's spun up, it wants to keep spinning in that plane. So if you change the plane that it's in, then uh, it, it, that, that force makes it sit up on its tires and if you're not careful then you end up on your back. Have you got anything to say to Thunderchild? Yeah I've been looking forward to this. I really want been really wanting to fight Thunderchild so yeah it should be should be good. Should be a good fight. Thunderchild anything to say back? I was basically gonna say the same thing so good luck this will be a good one. The robots are ready let's get them in the arena. Roboteers get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So loser getting up to speed there, trying to get an early hit in on Thunderchild. Oh. Thunderchild not letting them, they're not letting up. Great powerful drive, they've already got Saul loser upended, using its little arm there to self right. Thunderchild is going to want to use its drive power to keep Saul loser in a position where it can't attack. Saul loser is going to want to bring that spinning disc down in the middle of Thunderchild and hopefully hit where his electronics are. Huge slam there by Thunderchild onto Saul loser. You can hear some counting there in the background. That's actually Nate, the driver of Thunderchild, counting the pin that he had on Saw Loser. The pit button now enabled. There goes Thunderchild with a ram on it, and down goes the pit. Massive sparks now starting to fly off the front of Thunderchild, but that matters not. It's still moving, it's still deadly. Saw Loser getting the blade underneath Thunderchild, doing some damage there. The Thunderchild once again with that tremendous drive power. It's just forcing it into that wall and there's a little bit of grinding going on now. A couple of sparks flying but no real trouble there at all for Saw Loser. On to Thunderchild. Oh, Thunderchild there controlling the drive there, trying to steer Saw Loser towards the pit. But Saw Loser getting out of it brilliantly. The two clash together again. Nah, so Saw Loser doing everything in its power to stay away from that pet and land some successful attacks on the Thunder Child. Thunder Child using its drive power still. Main, its main weapon right, is its drive there. power, very reminiscent of Series Whoa. 4 Tornado. Uh, here we go. <laughs> very, very close to that pet, just away. Alex Mortu, great driving there with Saw Loser. He knows how to control this fight, he knows the danger of the power of that Thunder Child machine. Thunderchild now upside down, as you can see by the different changing stickers. Alex Mordew, one of the most experienced drivers in the competition. And if anyone's going to have a chance of beating this, it's going to be Alex Mordew. There's the break from the pin. Thunderchild again, now has Saw Loser upended. And very close Saw Loser self-writing beautifully. It's just a case of Saw Loser has to get these big hits in. It's not gotten the hits it normally gets in. And Thunderchild is taking advantage of that. Absolutely, there's another pin hit there in the bottom corner of the arena. Saw Loser just doesn't seem to have an answer for this. Saw Loser is not used to having to fight a pushing match, so it's not really designed for it. And it means that Thunderchild is able to get very easily underneath the front of Saw Loser. 
And if Saw Loser keeps making mistakes like that and putting himself on his lid, he's going to end up in the pit or losing on the judges. That weapon is very powerful, but it's actually impeding Saw Loser more than helping it. It's not being able to land those successful big hits. And that's the last 10 seconds of this battle now. What an absolute dogged fight this has been between these two machines. Stop and deactivate the yeah. But it's out of their hands now. We take this fight to the judges. This is going to be a very close call. I don't know who'd won that. I wouldn't want to call it. So, three minutes of nail-biting action, and we have no clear winner, so it's going to go to the judges. So while they're making that decision, let's let's have a chat with the teams. Nate, we'll come to you first. So you, uh, what was, you were, you were counting out loud. Uh, why, why was that? Because um, I was pinning them, and I just wanted to make sure that the judges know that I was, um, or pinning for 10 seconds. I guess I get in the zone and I do that, so, <laughs> eh. We all thought you were stealing Tim's job, so you're only allowed to have him pinned against the wall for 10 seconds, is that right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Because you've got no active weapon on your robot, is that your only real way of, of kind of damaging him, trying to push him against the wall and knock something loose? Uh, yeah, basically. And because like with uh, the judges, uh, at least in America, pinning is like our equivalent of like, I guess getting hit sort of. I sort of got to show that I'm being dominant in the fight. All right. Well, these aren't American judges, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, though. Uh, very well done, nonetheless. So, loser, you've done a lovely little bit of lathe work on the front of his row. Look at that. Um, taking a big chunk out of there. Um, but that was pretty much all you did to him. You, you were hitting the floor a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, there's always the danger of being upside down when uh, yeah, going at full tilt. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm glad to have done that little bit of uh, damage on the front. You got a couple of good hits on him, um, but it's a very solid robot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, it is very sturdy. It'll take a lot of hits. Well, we shall see what the judges made of it before we go and get the decision. Give it up for both teams! <laughs> Fair enough, really. It's a very handsome man. And please admire the utter gun sticker on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, good sticker. <laughs> How are your nerves, guys? I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> Alex? I'm chill. <laughs> <laughs> We've spoken to the judges. They've been judging on control, damage, and aggression and have reached a split decision. The Bogglebots series semi-finalist will be... Saw Loser! Hard luck, Nate. But that was an incredibly tight battle, as shown by how long the judges deliberated over that. So you can come out of that fight with your head held high, surely. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they asked to see the damage, I sort of know that was the end for me. So, I mean, I'm still in it, but like... Absolutely, you've still got the loser's melee. Uh, so you've got plenty of chance to come through that. Then there's um, not much repairs to do to your robot? Um, no. I, if I ever need to fight a drum at some point, I can just replace that. Cool, cool. All right, give it up for Thunderchild! <laughs> So, Alex, last year you were eliminated in the Rumble B. You are now two steps further than that. So, is this a march to the title? Yeah, or at least to third anyway. <laughs> well, no, at least fourth. Oh, uh, ideally third. <laughs> he wants to be on the podium. All right, give it up for Sir Loser! <laughs> It was still a good fight. I mean, I'm disappointed. I could have done more, but I'm glad I didn't like try to get into the pit and accidentally fall in. So I'm still happy I went out in a split decision. It was yeah, great opportunity to be able to fight one of the best wedges in the world and one of the best drivers. We're here for the grand final eliminator and we have Splody Boy and our reigning champion, K2. Jeremy, you didn't expect to get this far, did you? <laughs> I was planning to, but I wasn't expecting to. <laughs> 
How does it feel to be in the Bugglebots Grand Final? It's mind blowing. Absolutely. I, 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 yeah, I keep losing my words when I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you beat Phoenix twice, and Phoenix was one of the favourites and one of the most dangerous spinners in this competition. So I bet you're feeling proud of yourselves for that one. I'm proud of it, but I wasn't scared of Phoenix. It's just the right kind of robot for me to fight against. So I was more than confident I'd be kept past Phoenix. So what's the strategy for our reigning champ, K2? Keep going at it with the spinner. The same strategies I've been doing so far. It works. I'm going to just carry on doing what works. Right, well, good luck, Splody boy. Mark, they've made quite an impression on the competition so far. They're, they're, they're not the inexperienced newbies that people maybe thought they were. Are you going to be going into this one cautiously? Um, yeah, I'd say, well, the same as I approach everything, really. It'll be no different. You took out Rust in Pieces quite well. These guys have a spinner and not a wedge. <laughs> so is this going to be a bit more difficult? Potentially. We'll, we'll see. You know, I'm just going to keep applying pressure and make my way around and, and see what I can detach. Right. Have you got any final words for Splody Boy? Good luck. <laughs> got anything to say back? Good luck. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Be interesting to see if that spinning blade of Splody Boy can get in underneath K2. No, it can't. Oh, look like it. K2 getting a good hit on the front of Splody Boy. And the blade is stopped. I think he got the weapon belt. Oh, it's spinning up again. Oh, that was a win. Splody Boy beginning to explode. You can see some damage to the disc there as well. He's spinning the weapon up, but it's not happening. He's going if he's moving out of his circle. Tim there encouraging more violence. It's been absolutely five, crippled, stopped four, in its tracks. That's three, it for Splody two, Boy. Splody one, Boy securing a place in the loser's melee. K2 very confidently marching on. Well, the Splody Boy charge has stalled and is lacking wheels at the moment. Um, you were pretty much imperious as you marched through your heat, but was the champion a bridge too far? The champion's the champion. You know, we did what we could, and we gave up a good fight, and we clanged. Yeah, you made a fantastic clang when the two weapons hit. <laughs> um, you're not out of the competition yet. You still have the loser's melee. Uh, so are you going to get your wheels back on and be ready for that? Yeah, I can do that. No problem. Wonderful. We'll see you there. Give it up for Splody Boy! <laughs> Now, these two robots both absolutely marched through their heats. They were really impressive in theirs, and likewise you in yours. You made that look easy. This is a good robot. You know, make no mistake about that. You're into the semi-finals. Are you going to retain your title? I'm going to try my best. Obviously, you know, from what I've seen so far, some of the others, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult. It's not, it's not going to be easy. It's not walking a park. But any, any damage to your robot? I don't think so. I was charge a battery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the semi-finals. The champion marches on K2. <laughs> this is mostly the gears and the this axle. It's still they still turn. <laughs> the motor didn't sound a lot of, on that side. A lot side. of bent screws in that. We are here for a grand final eliminator and we have Daedalus versus Mini Spinny. Battle of two horizontals this one, Cosmin. And firstly, congratulations for coming up through two rumbles. You must be so proud of yourself for that one. Oh yes, I was absolutely not expecting that to happen, especially as my bot is really designed to fight 1v1, not really for melees. So, two horizontals. I noticed that your bar is slightly higher than Mini Spinny's. Do you think that's going to cause a problem for you? Well, actually, it's an advantage for me because my body is slightly longer than uh, Mini Spinny's. 
and this means that generally if things go well for me, I'm going to hit his chassis before he hits mine. Well, good luck, Cosmin. Mini Spinny, you took out the brick, which I think Cosmin's a bit glad about. <laughs> Are you pleased with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, Jay was in one of the rumbles as well, so, uh, but I, I don't think there was too much uh, clashing between the two. But uh, yeah, I'm, 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 my confidence has increased somewhat from that fight. Is his longer bar reach going to be a problem for you? Yes, but I, I mean, I have fought uh, Daedalus before um, with Mini Spinny Mark 1 and he didn't destroy me. He, <laughs> he whooped me, but he didn't destroy me. So maybe, maybe I could win. Have you got anything to say to Cosmin? Cosmin, after this, you'll have to rename to Dead Alas. Oh, and have you got anything to say to that Cosmin? Oh yes, I'm looking forward to tearing off his wedge. Wow, here we go. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Daedalus have gone through so much already to get here and the run surely can't stop right now, can it? Daedalus bouncing off the wall there, that's a bad driving decision there from Cosman. But Mini Spinny is trying to use its rear wedge to kick up Daedalus just like that and hopefully get a good shot of that. Oh, oh, huge head there, Daedalus doing his best impression of a helicopter trying to take flight in the arena now. Daedalus taking damage to its wheels as it rides over the bar of Mini Spinny, but it's taking a chunk off the front. Panels of Mini Spinny it's being torn off by Daedalus' bar. Mini Spinny, I don't think they are too sure how to attack this machine. I think, in all honesty, the two most powerful horizontal spinners in the competition. They're just going to have to go for it and hope for the best in this occasion. The biggest danger present here to Daedalus is itself. No matter what it every hits. single hit it takes, it kicks itself against the wall, which again is doing more damage because that wall is much stronger than anything it's going to hit in the arena. Oh, but dear. Mini Spinny's bar is slowing down a bit, but it's okay, it seems to have recovered. It's a cheeky little waffle of a machine out there, is Daedalus. Look at it, flipping and spinning around, and now more little bits and pieces, chunks and nips, and a massive spin there from Mini Spinny. And another big hit from Mini Spinny by Daedalus. Deadless oh, seems to be in the better so state because Mini Spinny doesn't appear to be driving as well as it did at the start of this fight. It's a lot slower, it's way more sluggish, and Deadless is more ex insane, more extreme. Deadless bouncing off the walls there like a pinball again. And there's more chunks coming off the front of Mini Spinny, the pit has been activated. A great tactic there from Mini Spinny, hoping that one of Deadless's attacks will divert it somehow into the pit or Mini Spinny could perhaps just decide to commit suicide. Maybe they've taken enough damage from this fight. Mini Spinny's playing on the fact that Daedalus put itself out with such a big hit in the heat and it only got here getting through two losers melee. So hopefully he's hoping that it'll do it again and bounce itself off into the pit or in the outer arena bit. But that could go any direction. Oh, Mini Spinny making a mistake Ten, and appears to have stopped nine, moving. Look eight, how shredded. Oh, and bash this, but he's back to life. He stopped again. <laughs> he's come back. You're going to have to keep moving. Tim is very <laughs> eager to begin that 10 second count out. Mini Spinny is definitely having control issues. Third time, I think, might be the charm now. I think he's definitely uh, taken damage to his moving. drive from those big yeah, hits from Mini Spinny. You can see him he's struggling to move. Creeping forward, but it's not controlled movement. Oh! Okay. He's okay, he's okay. He's, he's still okay, Ref Tim is saying he's okay. We're at the last 10 seconds. The two machines now locked together. Daedalus up the front Five, of that Mini four, Spinny wedge. Three, three two, two, one. one. Stop and deactivate the move. It goes to the judges. Another fight going to the judges. This is incredible stuff. A very punishing battle, this one. What a grand final show this is turning out to be. Oh, sorry. On, oh, yeah, on the body, there's a bit of white plastic wrapped right, around the middle. Dive, I'm just oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that fight was spectacular. It was like watching watching two boxers kick lumps out of each other. Rory, were you hanging on for the bell by the end of it? Yeah. Um, so what, what basically happened, although he's obviously trashed the front of my robot, everything's still 
intact inside, but my battery doesn't run that long. <laughs> okay. So you so you try to get all your fights finished before the three minutes? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've tested it out before, and I can spin for three minutes and move around, but when you're spinning your bar up and down and up and down, it takes more. And so, yeah, I, I couldn't last. Well, you fought very, very hard. Uh, we think we've talked about this before, that the entire back half of your robot is pretty much expendable. Is that why you kept pointing it at him? Yes, exactly. And also, I have this, this nice titanium wedge, which is still attached somehow and uh, has, honestly, little damage on it that I can see. So It was hitting you very hard. Yeah. Right, well, it's in the lap of the judges, of course. Uh, so, Daedalus, any damage to your robot? Um, well, bits and pieces are missing from the back plate here and from the tires. I think overall I don't have, I don't lose any functionality. And um, so I'm told that the first hit you landed on Mini Spinning melted a bit of his armor to your spinner, that then stayed on for most of the fight. Oh yeah, you can you can uh, still see some traces of uh, white plastic on my weapon wire. Wow! So your weapon is that powerful? It melts plastic. Yeah, that pretty much always happens when you hit HDP. Wow! Well. It was fantastic performance by both teams. However, it did go the full three minutes. So the judges have made a decision, judging on control, damage, and aggression. And the decision was unanimous. Going through to the Bugglebutts semi-final is... Commiserations, Rory, but did you think maybe that was coming the way you were clinging on at the end? Well, yeah. <laughs> After, uh, before the fight, I, I was unsure, but obviously now it, it's easy. Cosman's win. Well, you do go through to the loser's melee, so you're not out of the competition yet. Um, and we'll see if you can come through that, yeah? Yeah, hopefully I will. Wonderful. Give it up for Mini Spinny! <laughs> Well, Cosman, uh, you lost in your heat semi-final, but ever since then, you've just been marching on into the semi-finals. You're one step from the final now. Is it going to go all the way? Hopefully. Now, now I feel I'm pretty good about it. I, I guess it depends if uh, any wages make it into my uh, tournament team. Well, we will see. And I can't wait to see what this robot can do in the semi-finals. Give it up for Daedalus! <laughs> I had these three chunks of HDPE over where my belt is, and it seems to have worked because although they are destroyed, the belt is still there and it seems to be intact. Some of that HDPE ended up on my weapon bar. Yeah. So, but it didn't. It didn't win the fight for me. So. <laughs> It, it, it still it was, was an amazing time. fight. Yeah. I'm so happy. It was a really good, go a really good time. We are here for the grand final redemption melee. We have Splody Boy, Mini Spinny, and Thunder Child. Splody Boy, you went up against K2. That was difficult, though, wasn't it? It was difficult, and I made the mistake of not getting up to speed before I touched him. <laughs> Oh dear. Rara, yes. you're the only woman left in the grand final. Are you going to do it for me? Absolutely. Like, my, my role in operating the weapon is absolutely crucial, especially in a role like this. Um, as much as I've been hilarious throughout the event, I'm sure it's time to be serious, knuckle down and, you know, kill some robots. Good luck, guys. Mini Spinny, you got another undercutter with in this fight. And Nate's wedge. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling confident? Uh... Yeah, I guess. I, I think I think I can take them both. Yeah. Got a strategy for it? Um, hit him. Hit him <laughs> with the bar. I I just want to say I I really wanted to fight Nate because I didn't manage to I didn't get to fight him last year um, at Bugglebots and so I, I'm really glad I'm getting to fight him this year. Uh, so. Is this like a friendly rivalry going on there? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> well, good luck, Nate. You've got two undercutters to choose from. Which one are you going to go for first? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I've known Rory for a few years and he's a wonderful guy, so maybe we might finally have our first fight, but I'm still deciding. Have you got anything you want to say to the others? Wedge. 
Rory? I'm not done yet. Rara? Nothing beats a spin spin. <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. <laughs> Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, here we go. A little bit of madness for you. Spinner's getting up to speed. It's Thunder Child's trying to stay on oh, top of one. Oh, lovely little hit there on the Splody Boy. Ramming straight underneath Splody Boy and Mini Spinny Ten, stop. Nine, eight, What's happened? Seven. They've just taken way too much damage out of this competition. Oh, no, not back to life at all. At the last three seconds, tick down, and that is it for a mini spinny in this competition. Pit enabled. Pit has been enabled, and immediately Thunderchild going for it. We're down to Thunderchild and Splody Boy. And this can only go one way now. And Splody Boy is gone. Splody Boy and Mini Spinny. Thank you for showing up and putting on a good show. Thunderchild comes like lightning back into the main competition. So, Rory and Mini Spinny, what happened there? You just died in the middle of the arena. Yeah, well, I'd like to say that it was some catastrophic failure of the internal electrics that after such a hard battle with uh, Daedalus earlier on uh, that it, it just couldn't cope, but my link fell out. <laughs> That is, that is really sad because you were you were getting some big hits in with the with the undercutter. Sometimes it's the way it goes, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I I was frantically repairing, and the last thing I thought was is the is the link in properly, you know. <laughs> You've done really well to make it back after being mangled by Daedalus um, earlier on. Um, are you proud of how you've done in this competition? Yeah, I think. This is possibly the furthest I've got in any any competition of this kind of scale, so I'm I'm pretty happy, yeah. Well, that's worthy of a round of applause. Give it up for Mini Spinny! <laughs> so, Jeremy and Rara, you came here with a robot that you'd never never fought with before, never tested in battle before, and the march has now finally come to an end. But you have to be proud of how you've done. I'm incredibly proud of how this is done. I think that's fifth place to me because he'd stop first, and <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Oh, you've been yeah, you have been fantastic, Rara. How how good has it been? It's been an honour. It's just been absolutely fantastic to to be part of this team, and we you, did much better than you know I could have ever dreamed, and we did it. You made it to the Bugglebots Grand Final. Give it up for Splody Boy! <laughs> So obviously yours is a robot that thrives on control. Do you maybe get a bit, a uh, bit apprehensive when you get in the arena with two spinners? Um, well, most events I go to are one v one, except for um, one of them. But I've never really been in a fight with two powerful spinners. I was really nervous. I thought that they were both going to gang up on me and then tear me to shreds. But I managed to hold on. Yeah, you drove very well, and you've managed to put both bots out. You got Spody Boy in the pit. So you're back into the semi-finals. Therein lurks Daedalus, who you've already beaten, the reigning champion, K2, and Saul Loser, who look very strong. How do you fancy your chances? Um, I think I'm most worried about K2, because it's basically my bot, but with an actual, like, active weapon. <laughs> so, but the other two, I mean, I fared pretty well with them, so I'd prefer to fight one of them as opposed to K2. But we'll see what happens. Well, we'll see you in the semi-finals. Give it up for Thunderchilds! <laughs> We are down to the final four. That was amazing. Uh, going full throttle for the first time in the actual fight was really fun. Yeah. Um, Gyro is all Yeah, over. we went crazy. I think, do you know what? After such a brilliant tournament, I'm looking forward to a nap. I think this is the highest, unless you count like small local events, I think this is the highest placing I've got uh, in any competition. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. We are ready for the semi-final and we have Sore Loser versus K2. 
Alex, I mean, you fought a wedge, so I'm guessing you didn't really have too many repairs after that one. Uh, surprisingly, I had quite a few things that I needed to fix. Okay. Um, so yeah, the um, spinner, uh, one of the bearings had gone in it, um, and it was still spinning, but yeah. And also, I wanted to replace the pinions because they were starting to slip a little bit as well at the end of the fight. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to tear it down and make sure it was uh, you know, fighting fit and ready for this uh, very special rematch. <laughs> Yeah, so you're going up against the champ and you fought him last season, so are you out for revenge this time? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. This time we're going to take down the champ. <laughs> well, good luck, Alex. Mark, you're up against sore loser again. Yeah. You think you're going to give him a kicking again? Well, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> Did you have many repairs after fighting Splody Boy? Um, no, I tightened up some, some screws and recharged the battery and we're good to go. Just charge the batteries again? Yeah. That's all you've done this event, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Do you have anything to say to Alex? Let's have some fun. Want anything to say to Mark? I'm coming for you. That's, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Will this be a case of history repeating itself to incredibly powerful, very highly fancied machines in this contest? Will K2 repeat its success last year? Or will Soul Loser be able to drag back a victory? But at the moment, it's not looking good for it. It certainly isn't. K2 have found that little gap in Soul Loser's defense and they are exploiting it. Saw Loser being flipped up, back and around, and not just by K2, it's like what we've been talking about all throughout this competition. It's, its own weapons gyroscopic forces are basically turning itself over every time he tries to do a turn at full speed. But right now, he's ramming right into K2, K2 getting a lovely hit on the underside, but not really doing massive amounts of damage to Saw Loser. There's a little bit of bit knocked off the back, but otherwise pretty much oh. on this game, but he's getting hit again and again. Yeah, Saw Loser, the, the teeth on that Saw Loser blade just unable to make a good purchase, unlike K2's egg beater weapon, which is just trashing Saw Loser at this point. Saw Loser is now going to be looking to get back on the offensive, because at the moment it's all been K2, and there appears to be some of the top of Saw Loser has been ripped off by K2. There's a big hole with some exposed wires. That could go badly for it if it goes to the judges again. It is a deadly machine in this arena, Alistair, is K2. And they know it. They are so slow. They are so methodical. Every single spark that you see thrown from the body of Saw Loser. Saw Loser activating the pit there, looking for a way to get in. K2, for the moment, has had the better offensive, the better aggression, and the better damage. This is all going to... Oh! And another big hit from Soul Loser from K2. And this is, again, big sparks coming off. Soul Loser getting back on its feet, self-writing. And then, Bouncing around again. negated by K2. Another flip, and another one, and another one, and another one. It doesn't stop. This season has just been on another level. Although saying that, he's oh, okay, very close. Very dangerously close to the pit. Backing away to cause some more sparks. A nice little pirouette there from Saw Loser to get back onto its wheels again. Saw Loser is definitely taking a kick in. You can see damage to the front. The front armor plate of Saw Loser has been ripped away. Pieces, chunks, sparks, scripts, call it what you want, call it damage. Oh, call it something in K2's seconds. favor. The weapon <laughs> has sucked <laughs> in the pit release button's tire, that and that has jammed it up. So now there's a big opportunity for Soul Loser. If Soul Loser can make a use of it, but that arm is jammed by the front weapon plate of Soul Loser. He can't get it down far enough to hit, so he's having to drive backwards now. Nine, that is now eight, taking us into seven, the last 10 seconds six, of this battle. Five, Will four, that lay it on three, issue with two, K2's weapon one, point against three, it? We're about to find out. This road. fight goes to the judges. This fight being for all the marbles, a guaranteed place in the grand final of series two. And I'll tell you one more, what an excellent rematch that was.
Well, that was a fight worthy of a Bogglebot semi-final. Can we have a round of applause for that? <laughs> Alex, I'm, I'm going to come to you first. That's the first time K2 has been taken the distance this series. So that's an achievement in itself. Yeah, yeah, very proud of that. That was uh, just fantastic. Amazing fight. He's absolutely merciless, isn't he? He kept getting you up on the wall. He wasn't giving you a chance to self write anything. How do you, how'd you fight somebody like that? Uh, just keep on going at him. Just keep on ramming him with the front. Yeah, you never gave up. And even, did your, your spinner seems to stop and then start up again, or did you just powered it down? Uh, I powered it down for a bit just because I wanted to um, get some better positioning. And with the spinner spinning, it's just it's a lot harder to drive. It was probably a bit easier once his spinner ate the pit tire as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, it's in the lap of the judges. Mark, you you seem to be on top for most of that, and, and then this happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, that is, wasn't planned. It's, it's properly wedged in, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I'll pull out. It's fine. And um, so that was your tactic, obviously, wasn't it? Just keep hounding him, keep hounding him, because he's been brilliant all series. Uh, were you quite threatened by him? Um, yeah, you know, we fought before, and, you know, I think the way he's running at the moment, it was better than, than the previous fight, so... Yeah, it was, uh, I, I was talking to you before, and you mentioned that both of you have improved your robots so much since you fought last series, so this would have been a, a great benchmark, yeah. a great opportunity for a rematch, um, and a great rematch it was. It went the full three minutes, and thus is in the lap of the judges, and they have reached a unanimous decision judging on control, damage, and aggression. The Bugglebots finalist is... K2! Absolutely brilliant stuff, Alex, throughout the series. Uh, have you got a, you've still got a third, fourth place playoff, mm -hmm. uh, so you could still end up on the podium. Um, have, you, have, you, have you got a, a, a favourite fight that you've had so far? It's probably that one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was definitely this one, yeah. It's been so good. That's the kind of fight we're in the sport for, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You've been a fantastic competitor, and we'll see you in the third place playoff. Give it up for Saw Loser! <laughs> So, the most positions you can drop is one, so you can, even if you lose your next fight, you will still come runner-up, so it's been an excellent title defense regardless. Are you going to be ready for the final? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to polish it up a bit now, and then, uh, <laughs> and then you know, I'll just, I'll just ram it down wherever else is throat, so. All righty, we will see it there. I cannot wait. Give it up for your reigning champion and Bugglebots finalist, K2! Yeah! That was awesome. It's just like the best fight so far for me, um, for yeah, for this this competition. I don't think I could have done any better. Um, yeah. I'm here with Daedalus and Thunderchild, and it is time for a rematch for a place as a finalist in the Bugglebots Grand Final. Cosmin, you've got to take on Nate again. You lost to him last time. You think you're going to take it this time? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I have a new strategy to use against him, and I hope it is going to work better. Can't be worse than last time, right? <laughs> this is true. So you got a strong tactic for this fight? Hope so. Not going to reveal it now. Fair enough. Good luck, Cosmin. Nate, you've come up through the loser's melee. Feeling good? Pretty good. You just took out two horizontals, so are you feeling confident about taking out Daedalus again? Well, I know he has a super special strategy for me, so it's going to be a tough fight, but it should be a good one. Do you have a strategy for him that you'd like to share with me, or going to keep it to yourself? I mean, there's really no secret. Just run into his blade and send him flying. Got anything you'd like to say to Cosmin? Wedge. <laughs> Cosmin? Nate, you're going to do the flying this time. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready.
three, two, one, begin. What a fantastic run it's been for Daedalus. And they go all the way. Huge hit there to the side of Thunderchild already. Thunderchild wanted to hope the round goes the same as before and a big bounce out and knocking out Daedalus. But Daedalus this time has been much more clever and he's staying on top of him and making it so the angles aren't going to knock him out. But it's very unpredictable when he gets a hit just like that. I'm liking the use of the wedge here on Thunderchild to disrupt the drive of Daedalus to try to get it to knock itself out. Daedalus here is going to be looking for a big hit on Thunderchild that knocks it out. But there goes the pit as go. Thunderchild always does. Thunderchild going for the pet, a little bit of a hopscotch there oh, no. from Daedalus who are stuck up Daedalus. on their back. Thunderchild so, on so Daedalus. close to the pet. Oh. Beautiful high earth they survived the that. Gravity and bouncing over. Daedalus still in this. Thunderchild I think a little bit distracted maybe, a little bit Thunder shocked. Thunderchild is now upside down. This has not worked well for it because the wedge is now basically just a big pointy bit. Oh, right up oh, on no! top, Daedalus now into the pit. It's been a spectacular series for them, but it's all ended here. Thunderchild through to the grand final to fight for the trophy for series two of Bugglebox. Commiserations, Cosmin, what a fight that was. That's fine. I'm, I'm very happy with uh, how the fight went. It was certainly very exciting. We need a change of pants for the arena marshal after you caught the pit and went flying into the arena door. Well, I guess I found a new way to escape the pit. <laughs> we thought you were in. We thought he had you in, but you escaped. But alas, you ended up in the pit eventually. Well, I, I guess that was bound to happen with how much bouncing around I was doing. But anyway, it, it was a good fight. I'm, I'm really happy with how it went. It was a fantastic fight. You've come the long way through this competition. You fought so many robots along the way. You go into the third, fourth place playoff. Are you going to be ready for that? Yeah, I think the bot is pretty much ready to go. You just need um, a new battery. Wonderful. So a chance to get on the podium. Give it up for Daedalus! <laughs> Be honest with me, Nate. Did you think you had it the first time you got him in the pit? Um, I honestly wasn't sure because like all the bouncing is so unpredictable. I figured that it would take a few tries to get him in the pit. It only took two in the end. He escaped once, but not the second time. Were you worried when he got you upside down? Because you lost your wedge at that point. Yeah, and then because if I'm upside down, he has these two nice little catch points for his bar. So, but you, you managed to get in before he could damage you. You're into the Bugglebots final. Having come through the loser's melee, do you think you can take the championship? I think it's possible. It's certainly possible. If you drive like that, you're going to take some stop in. Give it up for Thunderchild! It was awesome. Um, I was kind of expecting to lose, so I'm, I'm happy with the results. I'm just happy. Uh, did the fight went well? I think it was quite spectacular. So people should, I mean, the viewers should hopefully enjoy it. Yeah, it was it was some fight. I'm ready for the final. We are ready for the playoff for third place, and we have Saw Loser and Daedalus. Cosmin, I think this is going to be a very interesting battle. Did you have a lot of repairs after fighting Nate again? Nope, this time I, I didn't have any repairs to do, so um, it was quite quick for me to get ready. I um, think it should be interesting. We fought once before, it was a good fight, so hopefully we'll do the same. Do you have a plan of action for him? I'm gonna smash him. <laughs> Ooh, I say. Well, Alex, are you gonna take that? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and smash him, um, give it my best shot, because so far no one has made that stop. Um, so I'm hoping to try and make it stop. So I'm quite excited for this. Are you going to take advantage of him bouncing around the arena? Maybe try and use that opportunity to get in on him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if we make it to 30 seconds, then uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm opening that pit and hoping he bounces into it. <laughs> Have you got any final words for Cosmin? Bring it, Cosmin. Any final words for Alex? I'm bringing it. <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. From Manchester, UK, it's Daedalus! <laughs> From Edinburgh, Scotland, 
Tears, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. What a fight this is lined up to be. Soul Loser and Dead. Oh, wow! Massive hit there onto Saw Loser, but it's recovered well from it. Massive damage though to the front. The front titanium plate of Saw Loser is now bent up like a pretzel. That is going to seriously impede that moving arm. Well done. No. More pieces now being removed. There's the lid gone of Saw Loser, so all the electronics are now exposed. Deadless. Oh, just taking chunks off. Oh, oh no, the weapon's gone! The arm is separated from Saw Loser. Ten, He's got no drive. Nine. He's been Eight, absolutely seven, mangled. Six, and you know what? Fair play to Cosmo, fair play to Daedalus. They get the bronze. Third place to the massive spinner horizontal of Daedalus. And well deserved too. Well, you're in bits, aren't you, Alex? Yeah, charge the batteries, it's good to go. <laughs> Um, your weapon was hanging off by the end of it, literally by a thread, I think. Yeah, yeah, um, it was still spinning, though. I mean, that's... Yeah, but there wasn't a lot you could do with it at that point. No, no, not, especially not once the receiver came out, then, yeah, oh, then it was done. <laughs> it's a frightening robot, isn't it? It is, it is, but I did get him. I did get his wheels. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got, he's got, he's got a nick. There you go, you did hit him once. I almost came off. Look, that's not a nick, that's a, that's a that's split. Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's the kind of robot you want to fight, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, especially at this, you know, at this end of the competition. Yeah, you've got no more fighting to do. You might as well go down in a blaze of glory, and so you did. Have you enjoyed your time here? Yeah, it's been awesome. And, you know, from making the, the Rumble Bee last year, you have improved to fourth place. Can you maybe go a little further next time? Yeah, third next time. <laughs> Confidence. I love it. Give it up for your fourth place, Sore Loser! <laughs> So, Cosmin, you come all the way uh, after losing in your, in your heat semi-final. You came through the 10-way rumble. You came through a six-way rumble. You made it this far, and you have come third in the competition. That's a good performance, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty happy considering how I've started by losing the, um, the second uh, round. And your weapon has been fearsome throughout. I don't think I've ever seen it break. Does anything break that weapon? Nope, actually, ever since I've built these bots, the weapon has never stopped. Wow. So there's a, there's a challenge for next series. Try and break that um, before it breaks you. <laughs> All right, here to present your trophy for third place, we've got Sarah. Give it up for third place, Daedalus! <laughs> so now that's all settled. I think we've got one more fight to do. Are you ready, audience? <laughs> it's time to crown the Bugglebots champion. We are ready for the grand final and we have K2 going up against Thunderchild. Nate, are you proud of yourself for getting here? I'm pretty proud. This is my first, like, like actual competition in the UK and I'm in the top two. That's that's something to feel good about. You've kind of in a way relived Mark's story from last season and you are thus far the only person to take out Daedalus not only once but twice. How do you feel about that? Feels pretty good. I know I've talked with a lot of UK beetle builders and they say that like Cosman's bot is like one of the best beetles they've ever seen. Just like like I've seen the videos consistently just tearing everyone apart. And I'm pretty proud to have taken him out both times I've encountered him, so I feel unstoppable. What's going to be the strategy for taking on the champ? Um, just use my wedge lift and push him around. It's going to be a fight. 
Well, good luck, Nate. Mark, you just defeated Sore Loser again. It was a bit of a rematch, and you whooped him again, so I bet you're feeling happy about that. Yeah, that was, that was the best fight to date, definitely. Do you have any secrets to being the Bugglebots champion? Um, it's just improvements. You know, every event results in, in improvements, you know, changes and just tweaks now. You know, this is probably the ninth version. So it's just, just keep tweaking it until it's right. And I think I, this is this is as far as it's going to go now. That's where, that's where it's going to stay. You're going up against the famed American Wedge, although he's got his forks on for you this time. What's going to be your strategy for dealing with forked Thunderchild? Just try and get around him and just keep hitting him as, as much as I can. Any last words for Nate? Good luck. I think I know the answer to this, but any last words for Mark? Wedge. Of course. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. From South Wales, UK, it's K2! Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. What a fantastic series this has been, and it all comes down to this. The best bots have come through all their competition, getting through such monsters as Deadless and Mini Spinny, and now they're here to battle it out. We've got K2 on one side, we've got Thunderchild on the other. Thunderchild automatically upside down. Yeah, K2, you can tell how careful they're being with the drive. They know how strong Thunderchild is. They have seen Thunderchild dispatch so many machines throughout this competition. K2 staying on top of it. K2, the only upgrade they made in this entire series was changing the amount of voltage in the system. Here we go. The pit button's now enabled. We're waiting for Thunderchild's tactic. Go for that button. K2, almost like a goalie here, defending the button. But, but no, been pushed no into good. It. And the message is clear here. We are Roboteers and we love war. We are looking for violence and K2 wants to finish this without the pit being available. But K2 is not going to get his way as Thunderchild needs that pit to possibly win this unless it can keep ramming K2 into the wall like that. Desperate to try and stay away from those forks at the front of Thunderchild while delivering its own crippling blow. Oh! Thunderchild thrown up into the air by that egg beating weapon of K2. That weapon that took them all the way to this stage last year and allowed them to win. That and they big do it hit again. there did no real obvious damage to Thunderchild. But Thunderchild getting in again underneath K2. K2 will be looking to deal with the damage there. nice and quick. Oh! And a big push from Thunderchild. Thunderchild trying to use that pit. K2's upside down. That makes a big difference because their weapon is going to now beat down on top of Thunderchild. But upside down again. Self right. They're back up on top again. But Thunderchild has them. They're at the wrong side of the arena to go for the pit. Thunderchild here is trying to get the push. But K2's not giving him a chance. Mark, one of the best drivers in the UK. Now here we go with the push, but taking it away from the pit. Why would you do that? That was possibly Thunderchild being driven back by K2's own reversing power. Indeed so, as Thunderchild tries desperately to line up another pitting. K2, a sneaky little manoeuvre up over the back. K2 oh, turning off the weapon of the beta to try and get some chance to go over the top without hitting it to get a chance to get a grip again. But now they're just ploughing into the front to get... Oh! So K2 close to the pit. almost into that pit once again, but some very careful driving there to stay away from it. K2 dancing around that pit. Thunderchild has definitely taken damage to its wheels. You can see that it's leaning slightly seconds. to the right when it drives forward now. Thunderchild desperate to bring those claws in there for one final hit against the egg beater. Thunderchild here is now going to be playing on reserves because we can't have much time left. And K2 is still looking as strong. Oh, and another big hit. 
James, ten buy me seconds. a pint. <laughs> We're down to the last 10 seconds now. This fight, K2 is stopping, but he's moving again. That was a close one. Thunderchild back up right, but Thunderchild is not driving properly, and that is Cease. That is it. It has went the distance. This has been an absolutely spectacular series, and I can't think of a better fight to end it on. What a purely awesome dogged battle it was, and rightly so. The audience stands up for a standing ovation to clap our two grand finalists. That was, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best beetle fights I have seen in my entire experience in the robot here. That was phenomenal. What a final. How incredible was that? Come on, audience, show your appreciation. Obviously, it went the full three minutes, so it's in the hands of the judges, and I wouldn't want to call that. We're going to come to Mark first as the reigning champion. Well, you couldn't have fought much harder, could you? No, no. I, I'm happy. I've consistently sort of, you know, done the same all the way through, and I just I don't think I could have done any better. Yeah, you were going at him the whole way. He was going at you the whole The two of you left it all out in the arena, which is exactly what we wanted. Nate, how was that? That was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. You, you, you had you, he had you upside down. You had him upside down. You had each other near the pit. It was absolutely bonkers. Uh, and I'm going to put these two out of their misery because they are anxiously waiting. The judges have made a decision, basing it on control, damage, and aggression. Their decision was unanimous. The Bugglebots Series 2 champion is... K2! Commiserations, Nate. You've been fantastic throughout this whole competition. You fought Daedalus twice, and you see what that's done to other robots. You made it all the way here, and you gave it everything. Are you proud of what you've achieved? Yeah, I'm pretty proud. This is my first like actual event in the UK, and I'm pretty proud with how I did. And I'm sure everyone in this room is. You know, you it, you went as far as the final, and you lost to the champion, no less. So there's no shame in that whatsoever. Please give it up, your absolutely amazing runner-up, Thunder Child. A very, very popular robot, and a very popular robot here among the pits and among the audience. Absolutely wonderful. You've retained it. <laughs> Have you got any words? Because uh, I've not got many. To be honest, when I come here, yes, you know, I, I was under no assumption that I would be leaving first place. I would have liked to have done really well, but... Well, you did really well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have retained the Bugglebots title. You have become one of the Beetleweight robots to beat. Just not, in, not just in the country, in the world. And the target on your back has just doubled in size. Do you think you can handle it? I tried my best. <laughs> I give it my all, so... You have done all the way through. You've been a fantastic competitor and a very deserving champion. Here to present your trophy is Sarah. Give it up for the twice reigning Bugglebots champion, K2! <laughs> Small and mighty is the motto we live by, do you agree? I have to agree, I'm a lot shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we're not fighting later. What a sensational final, a fantastic conclusion to a sensational series. This has been Bugglebutts Series 2.
So how do you guys feel now the competition's over? Empty. Any final thoughts? <laughs> Empty. <laughs> um, just, just relax now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna chill out for five now. And get on card. <laughs> I'm gonna go for diet. I'm just tired. I want to take a nap. Well done. What I have to well done. Well done. Right At the end of like every event, like I'm, I'm, I'm sad it's over. I had fun with all these great people, and unfortunately, on like events near me, these guys only see like once a year. So hopefully, this means more trips to the UK in the future.